Before we start this video, a large thank you to Rock Rusher, Justin, Clinic, Vapor, I am not even going to try to pronounce that, thank you for the support my friend, Thiago, Johnny, Y, Michael, and Oliver for their support on Patreon. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hello guys, and today we're going to make it so we can add damage modifiers um, before and after damage calculation based on effects that the character has. So what I mean by that? Well, we're going to work on adding in rings and character effects uh, in the next video. But before we do that, we're going to set, I guess, the basis right now of how we're going to do things like damage modifiers and damage absorption modifiers. This will be changed a little bit in the next episode because we're going to make a really cool character effect system. But for now, uh, we're going to keep this logic because it's going to stay the same. We're just going to kind of change where it's called from. So we can start it in this episode. And we're going to start by making a header in the character stat manager. And we're going to call this damage type modifiers. And I'm going to make a comment here as I adjust my mic. I'm going to say any damage dealt by this player is modified by these amounts. So this could be for physical, fire, lightning, magic, darkness, etc. And since this is the tutorial, I'm only going to do physical and fire just to give you two examples. It is the same for any other uh, damage type. This is just what I usually do. As you can see here too, I've only done the, in the future, uh, I left out a bunch of the absorptions, as you can see by my comments here. So I'll make a public float for physical damage percentage modifier. And we're going to start it by 100. Uh, so basically, it's going to be a percentage of your damage. Um, this is what the, the number presents. So 100 is the normal number. It will be 100% damage. And if you modify your damage by 15%, it will be 115. If you take away 15, it would be 85, etc., etc. So now we have these two things. We need to go where we actually calculate damage, which on our... Uh, Script logic is take damage and take damage after block. Take damage, no animation, is strictly used for backstabbing. Uh, you can edit that too, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to do these two because, again, the logic is identical. So what we want to do is first, before any calculations take place, we want to take the damage and multiply it by its multiplier. So physical damage, for example, is equal to physical damage times, open up brackets, we would say the character damaging me, whoops, that's enemy damaging me, uh, dot physical damage modifier, divided by 100. And that is just going to make it so, for example, if it's 115%, you're going to get an extra 15% damage on the original uh, damage number. And you want to do this before armor calculations, obviously, because it, this should be the damage at the start, not at the end of the calculation. This is before we factor in the person's defense. And if you're getting an error like me, press math f dot or type math f dot round to int and put that inside the brackets because it needs to be an integer. Uh, likewise, we can come down here now and do the same thing with fire. So just copy and paste to replace physical damage with fire damage, and we are good to go. Now we can copy uh, or change this to from physical to fire. There we go. And now we can copy both of these and we can paste them in the take block damage section. But before that, too, I'm going to make a comment. It's just going to say before calculating damage, damage defense rather, we can check the opponent's or the attacking character's damage modifiers. So the logic again stays the same uh, with the take damage during a block calculation. You just have to do it beforehand because it goes through a couple of checks. Then it checks how much damage is being absorbed in the block and then it checks uh, stamina, etc., etc. So it's right at the top here and that should be good to go. All right. So. Now that that's good, let's go over here on uh, the same place just to take damage um, function. Let's make a debug log. I'm going to say debug.log final damage is. I'm going to make a plus here and then just display the final damage amount so we can check before we adjust our uh, damage modifier and after. I'm going to save that and go back into the scene here now. So I'm going to go into the game and I'm going to go over and attack this character. And our normal damage amount is, okay, so we got 54. Cool. So next I am going to basically adjust the damage modifier on our player and I'm going to go down here now and we have 54 total damage. I'm going to go and make the physical damage modifier 150. So 1.5 times. And now if I go into the game, let's go over and go out and attack this gentleman again. Now it should be roughly, I want to say like just about 80. So around that area. So let's attack him. And yep, there we go. Okay, 80 damage. So that is working as intended. Now, that's pretty straightforward. What if you want to do the same thing, but instead of altering uh, someone's damage, you want to alter their absorption? So it it's very similar. We're going to do that too. 
Uh, and in the future, we're going to make rings and effects that will change these values when we put in our new uh, character effect system, which we'll start in the next video. But let's actually make a header, and we can call this uh, call it damage absorption modifiers, or you can just call it absorption modifiers, whatever, whatever you want, really, it's all the same. Uh, I'm going to call mine damage absorption modifiers. And again, this one, when you tweak it, depending on the percentage, it will absorb uh, or negate rather a percentage of the damage. And you want this to be, uh, do a public flow for both these, by the way, you want this to be after the calculation. So, or at least in, in my mind, it should be, you want your armor to do the, uh, the first calculation and then your flat bonuses. And lastly, you want to take off the total remaining. I think that's the best way to do it in my opinion. Um, whoops, don't initialize that at 100. That should be zero, it's my bad. Um, you don't want to have 100% damage negation. That would defeat the purpose of having damage. So I'm going to make fire absorption percentage and physical absorption percentage modifier. And I'm just going to initialize those at zero. So you can put it uh, at the beginning and it will negate the amount of incoming damage. But I like putting it at the end after it's been through your armor calculation and after it's been through your flat bonus calculation. So I'm going to make a comment here and say any damage. Actually, we're not going to say that. We're going to say, hmm, let's go to put this incoming damage after armor calculation is modified by these values. All right, so yeah, any remaining damage you have after you've calculated your armor uh, defenses is gonna be modified further by these values. So because of that, it will go right before you do the final damage calculation. And let's just calm down here. And then I'm gonna say physical damage is equal to, I'm gonna say math f dot round to int. That's gonna be physical damage times we're going to say physical absorption uh, divided by 100 and oops that should be physical damage equals physical damage minus this so just a moment i'll fix that there excellent all right perfect and let's do the same with fire damage and that's actually not in the right place either we have to put that above the final damage calculation otherwise it doesn't do anything so let's do that right now as long as it's above final damage, you're fine. And let's do the same thing with fire damage. Fire damage is equal to fire damage minus math f dot round to int fire damage times fire damage absorption divided by 100. So we're just basically getting a total from the total amount of absorption and then minusing it from the total damage. Pretty straightforward. It's uh, very similar to how the armor works. All right. And we save that and put that in any function that you want to call damage in. So let's go in here now and let's go to our enemy. We know the base damage is what, like, I believe it was 54. I should just check again just to be sure. Let's go over here now. And yeah, okay, so 54. Whoa, he's doing 96 damage to me. That seems strange. We'll check that out in a minute. Okay, 54. So if we go to the enemy now and we change the physical damage modifier to, say, 50, he should do 27 damage if it's half 54. Let's try that out. I don't remember the damage being that high though on a single swing. So maybe something's in the go here too. We'll check that in a second. So I'm hitting him and the damage is 48. No, that is definitely not <laughs> half of 54. Okay, so what's happening here? Uh, first off, I'm gonna copy and paste this and put this in the damage after block function. I must have made a mistake somewhere. Let me see. The problem is here somewhere. First, I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna save this. I think I know what the problem is. Yes, okay, so I'm actually not putting in my physical absorption here. I was using the armor absorption. It should be physical absorption percentage modifier. I think I was using the actual absorption modifiers for the armor. They're both similarly named. Uh, try not to make that mistake like I did. So I will put these, uh, repaste these rather, copy this and paste it and take damage. And now that should fix the issue. My bad. That's why it helps to have things very clearly named. All right, save that. Let's go back into the game again. We'll try this again. So it was 54, which again, seems a bit high, but we'll try it. So I'm gonna attack this gentleman here now. And we're doing 40. That is still not half of 54, but that is a, lo a lower number. So what is going on? That means my damage has to be skewed somehow. Ah, yes. I'm Fire damage equals math F round net. Fire damage times, not physical damage. I actually had physical damage listed twice. That is definitely the problem. That is why the damage is high too. The regular damage is supposed to be 27, not 54. So that means this should be like 14 or 13. If I hit him and this is 14 or 13, yeah, okay. Final damage is 13 before the calculation is 27. That's right. 
All right, there you go, guys. So this is how you would modify damage before or after values. Now you can take this a step further, and we're going to. I'm just going to describe what we're going to do now. I just kind of wanted to set the, uh, uh, the theme for the next set of videos. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to make a character effect system, and we're going to make it so we can modify damage absorptions um, after attacks, before attacks. We can modify it for certain spell types. We're also going to make a convenient hub to process things like being poisoned or being cursed or whatever. It's it's going to be a lot better now uh, because we're starting to add more effects. And I don't just want to slap them on and give them their own. Like, like we have a bull right now for is poison, but we're going to give them their own little scriptable objects. So it's a lot neater, a lot better functioning. And you can kind of attach these effects to certain items when you equip them. Uh, it's going to be a cool system. So we're going to further that and we're going to refactor our effects in the next episode. All right, guys, you made this fire drop, like, leave a comment. It does actually help out the series so, so much. So thank you to all of you who take the second to do that. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much, my patrons. I'm really excited to start the system, so I will see you guys in the next episode. And I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season.